Fabian Francis is harvesting baby eels, also known as glass eels or elvers. They're lucrative and can sell for up to $5,000 a kilogram. But what he's doing is illegal, according to the Department of Fisheries and Oceans. So he's constantly on the watch for fisheries officers. It's GFO across the road now, so we'll find out pretty pretty soon. Uh, you know, it's GFO, RCMP, everybody's after us. You know, we, we can't even fish for our, you know, for our livelihood. Some Mi'kmaq communities are harvesting elvers under a government-approved management plan. This, after DFO cut the commercial elver quota by 14 percent to increase access for Mi'kmaq First Nations. Eric Shiley, negotiator for the Assembly of Nova Scotia Mi'kmaq Chiefs, says it's necessary to monitor the elvers. So the concern becomes if we don't know what's being taken out, if we don't know, uh, if we don't have people monitoring while they're fishing and looking at what the stocks look like when they're coming up, then we're missing where we're just waiting for it to crash and we don't want to see that happen. But Francis is from the Escazoni First Nation, not one of those who've accepted the government's plan. He says his community can't wait. A lot of the reserves is the poverty, homelessness, um, suicide, you know, you got addictions. And, you know, people are doing this because, you know, they don't have any, you know, anything to look forward to, you know. Francis doesn't believe he's doing anything illegal, that he has a treaty right to earn a moderate livelihood. But as the night wears on, he's convinced fisheries officers are nearby. They're probably taking pictures, you know, whatever they're doing, right? You know, they'll come over and talk to us and they'll say, you know, they'll see the elvers and, you know, they'll, you know, arrest me or whatever they're going to do to us. Fisheries officers do pull up along the bank of the river, so Francis dumped his catch to avoid charges. A DFO showed up and changed the whole ball game. You know, I had to do what I had to do to protect me and my family, so I had to dump the elvers. Um, Reluctantly, I wasn't too, uh, I didn't want to dump them, but then again, you know, I, I can't fight any, I can't fight my rights if I'm in jail or... Francis speaks with the officers. You know, why do I have to go around hiding like a, a criminal in my own ancestral territory? You know? So are you guys, what are you guys going to do, charge me or are you guys going to no, let me go? What the officer says to him is barely audible. We just want to let you know that as fishery officers, yep. we enforce the Fisheries Act and regulations. But Francis says this is just a temporary setback, and it won't stop him from exercising his treaty right in the future. We lost our elver catch, you know, five hours of elver and for nothing. You know, the, the, we had to dump it. And uh, I spoke to them, and I, I told them that I was going to go out and do it again. And uh, There is a couple of months left of the lucrative elver fishery for the Mi'kmaq to earn a moderate livelihood. Angel Moore, APTN National News. Nova Scotia.